I mean, he's happy. Amen. And we should be. After what we hear <coughs> and see what's going on around us, it just can't be a long time, can it? Yeah. I mentioned several things last night. I didn't have the books with me. I tell you the book and then quote it. But I don't know how you feel about it, but one thing I said last night, I don't believe we're fixing to leave here, but I believe we're fixing to return. The bride is coming back. She's going to be liberated. Amen. Then when we talk about the rapture and the things that are going on, and we've heard it for years now, the prophet, when God spoke to him in the visions, watch Russia, watch Russia. But can I tell you this? The whole world's eyes right now is on Russia. Amen. And wrote down today, <laughs> They keep talking about, and how many is watching this on the news at all? It's almost unbelievable. One woman holding her little son, he's about that tall today, and he was crying. He said, uh, we had to leave daddy behind. He has to fight for us. And this is by the thousands over there right now. And a lot of people say, well, I think it's getting better. No, it's getting worse. Right. If you're watching the news, it's getting worse all the time now. And here Putin is, the president over there now, or their leader anyhow, getting all of his people, his forces, on high alert. Get ready for a nuclear bombs to start going. Man. Do we know what that is? Do we think it's just going to be a bomb that'll hit something other and explode and that'll be it? No, all the chemicals are going to be turned loose in the air. Right. Nobody can survive that. It don't matter how many bomb shelters you got or nothing else, you'll never survive that. Man. And that's what they're all looking at now. They asked some of the leaders, said, if they start throwing the nuclear bombs, what do you think will happen? He said, it's over. That's the end of everything. Amen. I agree with them up to a certain point, but it ain't the end of everything. Amen. There's something on earth that's never going to end. And I believe it's called the bride of Christ. His word right here on earth. The only safe place I know of right now. There is no other safe place. Then you hear this Condoleezza Rice, I believe that's her name, that was over there with him one time talking. And her statement was today, he has changed. He said he's always been cold, and, but so now he's a different fella. It's like he's just lost it. Like he's got bad health or something and something's going to happen to him. He's going to do everything he can while he's here. Well, I can tell you what has changed. God, I mentioned this last night, God had Pharaoh on this earth for a purpose. Amen. He's got these men on here for a purpose. Amen. They're going to fulfill his word, but all at the same time, he's got a bride on earth that's going to fulfill his word. Amen. So they're hollering now, not just to the people in Ukraine, but anybody, any Americans that's in Russia, if you can, get a plane, do something, get out of there now. Because the fighting is still going on. And when you watch, and these missiles they're throwing, and people riding down their highways over there, and one land in front of them, it's, some of them getting hit. And when you see that, how scary would that be? Amen. You know, the one little island, that notion there, that, that Ukraine had some, what, was about 19 soldiers or something out there? <clears throat> and the Russian planes and things overhead? Helicopters and all, and I think they killed all 19 of them. But they're not giving up. Even their leader there, 
is right there with the man fighting. It was pitiful today when they showed a picture. Some of them, old granny women, not just the men, and little children with these machine guns fighting for their country. Amen. But most of the women are having to leave, take their children with them. What they leaving are in bunkers and things, bomb shelters. It's a scary time. But as I mentioned last night, it's going to get scarier. Amen. But I believe the bride on earth is hearing something right now that's going to take all the fear out of her. Amen. She's just going to rest. She's realizing now, we've heard this for years, you're not going to make it. You've made it. Amen. And if you've made it, you are the Word. You know if you made it or not. You can't, you can't holler, I'm the Word, and not be the Word. Amen. I have screamed it. Don't just say you believe it. If you believe it, you'll live it. Amen. And if you don't live it, you're in trouble now. Amen. So when I mention these things and say we're not going to fly off into rapture somewhere, we've already been called up. We get quiet sometimes. But we're fixing to come back on the scene. Amen. We haven't been. I, I listen to these people, and as I said last night, women on earth, oh man, calling the prophet a chauvinist, male chauvinist, and even some of the people that really believe what he said said these men are male chauvinists. And she said, talking about in the Garden of Eden, she said, I want you to listen to this. I said, listen to how crazy he was. So they talk about these women if they wore their dresses above their knees. Don't mean to get on any toes right now. Bless the Lord. And how they dress. And said they're going to answer to God for causing that man to commit adultery with them. Well, that's the word. Amen. And she turned around and kind of giggled. But what about the man? Said they don't say nothing about the man lusting. Why are they even lusting? You see how they try to act? Make it look crazy, but they're going to find out before long. Everything that prophet said is still right here on earth. God took the messenger home. That word is still right here, and it's going to ride back out on the scene, and the world is in trouble this time. Amen. Nuclear bombs will take a lot of people out. Any word you're near them, you just breathe that stuff, you're dead. So the nuclear bombs is going to do a lot. But i got news for them. There's something on earth right now called the Word of God. And it's going to take everything unlike God off of the face of this earth. Amen. So what should we be afraid of? If you don't fear God, you're in trouble. Amen. But I mentioned last night, we're not going to go into rapture. The rapture is why? It's coming to an end. We're coming back. See how the Satan has deceived most of the world? And I want you to get this. I'm in just a few things here before I head back to that seal book. The book called The Rapture. And the prophet said, you're back to blindness again, trampling over the things of God as though they meant nothing to you while scoffing and making fun of it. Like I just mentioned. They can't just say, well, he was wrong. They want to try to make him look so bad. And they will in the eyes of the world. Then them women sitting there that he cut down. And watching today, all this news, every time it brings somebody up to start talking about what's going on in Ukraine or somewhere, it's a woman. And I believe it's Ryan sitting there. I said, see there, there's the problem. And this makes them mad. But the prophet said when she gets out of the kitchen, she's out of her place. Amen. That girl that was talking mentioned that. And I said, I'm going to ask you, are they out of their place? Amen. You know, you can watch about anything you want. Listen to anything you want to listen to. It boils down to women. Amen. The God of the earth is the devil. And when you see this, and I know a lot of people say, well, they, these men, they've got shows and things like this on TV and building and all. I don't care. 
nine times out of ten, any show they have got, I don't care if it's building houses, remodeling houses, the woman's the boss. The man will do the work. If she, he don't do what she says, he's in trouble. People, y'all know what I'm telling you. You look at me like I'm crazy, but y'all know what's the truth. Satan has took this world over. But somebody on earth is fed up with it and they're fixing to take it back. And it's going to be the ones that God has... Oh, I was sitting thinking today. heard somebody singing, I'm redeemed, I'm redeemed. I thought, oh my goodness. We're going to sing a song here in a little while that an angel can't even sing. Because the angels never fail, so they don't have to be redeemed. But there's a group on earth, you know yourself, you're already redeemed because you are that word. You, you don't look and say, well, I know what the word said, but I'm not lined up with it. No, you want to look at it and say, I am that word now. Because I believe we're up here to the time you're either going into tribulation period or going to step right over to the other side. One the other. So, listen close here. The bride, I'm making fun, they're making fun of it, but the bride, the rapture is a revelation. One book I had here one night, I don't have it right now, the prophet said, that's why Wesley was a part of it. In the revelation they made up. Part of what? This rapture. That word's not even in the Bible, so it's called up. <laughs> Wesley was part. Calvin, all of them, they were apart. But the bride in this day makes up the rest of it by the revelation they have right here on earth. Amen. So it's, I want you to remember what the prophet said. He said, these seven angels that I saw, this is before it happened in reality. He said, there's three on the side in the shape of a pyramid and one right in top. Well, our words from him, and I've got a book laying right here that says it, the seven thunders will cap the pyramid off. Amen. Why? The revelation. Now listen, the book of Revelation is the last book in the Bible. It is sealed to unbelievers. They'll never get it. When you hear these preachers out here, all the things they're saying, Go back to the Word. And the, I was trying to think of what I heard one of them say, and I'm talking about message preachers. And it was Tim Pruitt. I don't mind calling their names. They call everybody their names. And he's talking about the Son of Man being revealed in this day. He said, that ain't just a prophet. He said, the Son of Man was revealed in a prophet, but now it's being revealed in his bride. Son of Man ain't revealed. The Son of Man done been revealed as a prophet in this day. Amen. And the bride believes that word. Amen. So what's it revealing itself as now? Son of David. For a thousand years right in front of us. As I said last night, and I love it, this means more than any of them says that I hear. <laughs> free at last, free at last. Free from sin, free from sickness, free from heartache, free from sorrow, free from old age, free from pain. It's going to hit us one night before long. And when it does, I don't know what it's going to do to you when you see me running these aisles again. But I believe somebody is going to get excited. I believe we're fixing to run and leap over walls just like that prophet said we would do. He didn't say we're going to sit and walk around on cane, but we're going to run and leap over walls. I believe it all. Do you? Amen. Now, another book here, the prophet's talking about Enoch was raptured. He was also the seventh from Adam. This shows us that in the seventh church age, the rapture will take place. Really? Amen. Well, how many of these church ages are over? Amen. Done. Glory. But that's when the rapture will take place. <laughs> there is no doubt but what we are in the seventh church age. We all know it. All of the others previously had died, but Enoch was translated. He was not found, for God took him. Enoch's rapture was a type. All of the others died, but the end time bride will be called out of the seventh church age without death. 
If you're called out, say, well, we have loved ones. I believe was the word, and they died. No, they didn't die. Amen. But there's people walking around on earth right now that claims I've been redeemed and all that. They're dead while they're walking here. Amen. Already dead. But the bride, it don't matter how many's gone up. They just wait to join hands with us again. Amen. They want to see us as much as we want to see them. Oh, Lord, how quick is that going to be here? Amen. Let me hit another thing or two here, but I want to read a few things that I mentioned last night. So I want you to notice this great thing that has taken place here. The Word says in the 13th chapter, the sixth, the 13th and 16th verses, that there are three things that have to happen before the Lord Himself appears. The first thing to happen is a shout. This is your rapture we're talking about. <clears throat> Next is a voice. Then a trumpet. Then he reads the scripture. These three things must happen. A shout, a voice, and a trumpet. Now I can turn over here. A shout is the message. That's what so many people holler about. Oh, they, they go by the message. Said they got something out called the Message Bible. How many have ever seen it? I got one. Amen. With the picture of our prophet in there, the picture, pictures of the cloud, the scriptures he'd given to show them what the whore was and on earth and this. That's why they hate it. I heard the swagger bunch talk about what's this one thing they call the Message Bible? Don't have anything to do with that. Why? Well, that's the very thing that they need, but they're missing it. They'll never get it. But let me turn over here to when Jesus started descending from heaven, the first thing that came forth was a shout. A shout is a message to get the people together. <coughs> it is now lamp trimming time. Remember the virgins? Five wives, five fools said, Arise, trim your lamps. That was in the seventh watch. Not the sixth, but the seventh. Behold the bridegroom cometh. Rise and trim your lamps. And they did. Some of them found they didn't have any oil in their lamps. It is lamp trimming time. It is Malachi 4 time. It is Luke 17 time. What is it? Malachi 4. Here comes Elijah. Amen. It was that time. What's Luke 17? The coming of the Son of Man. Right here on earth. And as it was in the days of Noah, look around you. They don't want to hear this stuff, but man with man, women with women. You never seen such trash in all your life. Amen. Say they'll get you one day for that. You can't take a servant of God out. Amen. They'll get mad enough to do it. I honestly believe the gun will put right up in their face. Amen. Why? We're living in the last days. Amen. This message has to get out. And if we're in the top of that pyramid, seven thunders has to be here to cap it off. How many believe the prophet ripped the top out of it? Amen. On the, in the inside of it was white stone. We know about the stone, don't we? They had not one thing wrote about it. And what them thunders preacher was never written in this Bible right now. I like what the prophet said in uh, Serves of This the Time. Talking about that. Time has run out. It was over. Maybe I ought to, being as I mentioned that, it just hit me pretty strong. If I could find that real quick. 101 here a minute. He said the only thing that's left, that seven thunders is the only thing, and I turned right to it, that's stuck to the book. Amen. That is not revealed. It is not even written in the book. Amen. But they're stuck to the book. What is the book? The Word. Amen. You believe the Bible is the Word of God? Amen. You believe they're still stuck to it? Amen. But they'll reveal things that was never written in that book. Amen. And only the bride's going to get it. The world's going to laugh and make fun. But I hope there ain't nobody here making fun of it. Amen. Hope there ain't nobody here saying, well, if it ain't in the Bible, I don't believe it. What they preach was not written in the Bible. Amen. And that's why these message preachers, they call themselves, so I can't find in my Bible where Joseph the prophet was. It's all in my Bible and I got to get to the It's in there. He is a prophet. 
And how they can stand up and say, he ain't no prophet just because his name Joseph don't make him a prophet. Well, God said he was, so let their word be a lie, Amen. but let God's be the truth. Amen. Now, he mentioned that and he said, I want you to keep in mind, they never other for nothing. Something was said. And I, oh, I got so much in that to pile right on to what I've been reading here. Now, I have one more thing I think that I wanted to hit right here. When those seven seals opened up, showing me these mysteries, that's when the message came. So what is the shout that he comes with in the last days? A message. Amen. Glory. Who had that message? William Murray Brown. Amen. Who gave it to him? God gave it to him. Now listen to what he said. I got something on this page back here I know somewhere that I wanted to read. And he's talking about I wonder, talking about the rapture, could it already be passed? Could the bride already be called? I'm going to answer them thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is that what we're going through today? She would have to be molded and made into the image of Christ. And Christ is the word. That's why the Bible said, it don't matter how much you haul, you believe it. If you don't live it, you don't believe it. Amen. That's just how simple it is. Amen. Christ is the word. Nothing can be added. As an example, you don't see a woman with one hand like a man, the other with a paw like a dog. Thus, it has to be exactly the word of the Lord. He is the word. Amen. Now, how many got that? What is the rapture now? A revelation. Amen. What did the prophet say there? The bride is waiting on that revelation. Amen. What? To be called up. Well, I'm here to tell you. Another book I've got right here, Feast of Trumpets. See, I mentioned these things last night. And I want to read a couple things in this. If I can find the page that I'm looking here. We hear about the beast. We see about the devil riding out here as hard as he can go. And now do you see what the beast is, don't you? It's a power. And a power... Ecclesiastical power, Jesus said it'd be so close like the real thing he'd deceive the very elected if it was possible. But he promised to have something here for us in that day that we wouldn't be deceived. And that's the word in Christ to make it manifest to us. Amen. He can't deceive that bride. Amen. He can't deceive the bride. Amen. Look how many have started out saying we believe it. And now... All the way through, you can just go through all of it. Why I left the brand of message. Why I left, now they're calling it a cult. Why I left. And the very word that they think, oh, we got rid of that. He's gone. That word's been here on earth all the time. Amen. Some were ripening, getting ready. Amen. And it's going to be liberated. You'll find out here. There are supernatural devils, unseen to the eye, but you can see what they're doing. Now, while that group is riding, making themselves ready to stomp out anything that won't agree with them, there's another group being made ready in Revelation 19. Amen. Glory. How, how many believe that's the coming of the Lord right there? Amen. Amen. Well, what did the prophet say? Nobody knows when he's coming or how he's coming, but there will be. Amen. Seven voices that were revealed the mystery at that time. Amen. Now, the next time the church is her, she comes also, not upon exactly horses, but the Bible said he was on a white horse, so we know what he's talking about. It's called the Word of God. While this group down here has got 2,000 bound at the river of Euphrates, being bound there for 2,000 years, the church has been bound, the Holy Ghost, had bound the Holy Ghost there under the church ages for nearly 2,000 years, under martyrdom back there. But at the door, it's been bound, not at the river of Euphrates, but at the door of creeds and dogmas. That sister, but she's going to be liberated. She's coming back. On, and those two meet one another on the battleground. Lucifer and Michael. 
Amen. How many believe Michael was the archangel? How many believe it was Christ? That's what the prophet said. They meet one another on the battleground. We're right in the door of it right now. But we don't have to worry about who's going. We'll never draw a sword. We'll never point a gun at anybody. But there's a sword that comes from somebody's mouth on earth right now. Amen. And that same sword that's speaking eternal life into the bride is going to take the devil off of the earth. Amen. What is the devil? All sin, all sickness, all heartaches. That's him. Now I had another couple of things that I wanted to hit here. So bear with me a minute. The sixth seal, when it opened, the persecution struck the Jews in a lit, literal standpoint. And here comes the persecution of the church in the ecclesiastical standpoint because the bride is already called. Amen. Not going to be, but is already called. Amen. Now over here, just a little bit further, he's talking about these trumpets right here. Always, that's what these are about. And how many believe that's the Israel? Amen. All the trumpets are to Israel, just like the seals was to us. There was three stages of it. The martyr age, they were martyred for it. The stage of the reformers, and now the calling out time. And when finished, the latter sea age, according to Revelation 10, the mystery of all the Bible would be known to the bride. Amen. Only the bride. Revelation 10, listen close now. The bride called out by the word, Christ himself calling out the bride. Did the prophet have that message? Amen. What was going around the world screaming, come out of her, come out of her, get out of her, get out of her. Amen, that's right. Why are you sitting here tonight? Amen. You could have been in one of them, Amen. but you're not. Amen. So if you just called out, you had to go in. Amen. If you just called out denominations, you had to go into the word. Amen. Pentecostal feast finishes at the seventh seal. For the next, I want you to hear this good. The next is the mystery of the coming of Christ. Do we have that mystery? Amen. Do we know how he come and when he come? Amen. Do you know tomorrow, as I said, will be what, 59 years? Since the cloud appeared? Amen. Somebody going to say one day, they'll be looking around and saying, why is all this going on? Look what's going on right now. Why is all this happening? I thought there was supposed to be a rapture first. Somebody going to say, well, that thing's over with. Amen. You missed it. <clears throat> We're not going to leave here in something called a rapture, but we're coming back and set our foot on this land, taking it over that the devil took from us years and years ago. Amen. Taking everything back. Amen. Not just the land, but there won't never even be a rotten apple there. Amen. Nothing's going to die there. Amen. Now, I want you to catch this one. I'm getting to it right here. Remember, I told you I'd bring back this great trumpet. Not the Feast of Trumpets. He said, what would he do over here in Isaiah? He said, the great trumpet would sound. The great trumpet, not trumpets, not the feast of trumpets. There's two of them, Moses and Elias, to call the trumpets. But under the great trumpet, is that part of our rapture? Amen. Is that part of our revelation? Amen. The great trumpet, the coming of the Lord to announce Joseph's return. Amen. Where are we at? What's taking place right here on earth? Amen. Now I want you to listen to this. The seventh angel messenger said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Not behold my Methodists or Baptists or Pentecost, but the Word, the Son of God, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. For no other foundation is there. They'll say, How long have we got? The Jews are in their homeland. This is in the 60s, people. The Jews are in their homeland. The bride is called. Scripturally, everything, just exactly what he promised, we're ready. The hour is here. Amen. Amen. Whether you realize it or not, 
and I'm going to repeat that prophet again. You're not going to make it if you're his. You have already made it. Amen. And I'm going to stand up here again. You pray for these legs. They've been giving me a pretty good fit today. But I'm going to stand up because they get numb on me when I sit down. But I want to get back to the seal book a minute. And if you got a hold of what we were saying last night, let me see where I'm at. 385, I believe, is what I'm going to start off on here. And when we was reading over there, the prophet talking about tomorrow night, he said, the field seal. That's when he's in the fort. The next night, the sixth seal. Now that's seven one on Sunday night. We don't know what it is. There's nothing said about it, not a thing. But I am sure he's going to reveal it to us what it's going to be. And if you believe that, you've got to believe the message we have in this day. Revelation 10 is the seventh seal. The Revelation 10 is talking about the coming of the Lord. Amen. Revelation 10 and 1, a mighty angel come down. There's one of them. Amen. Revelation 10 and 7, there was an angel there that revealed all the mysteries. Amen. But in between them two, after that one came down, said time has run out, not before, but after time run out, seven thunders throwed their voices out. Amen. When they did, John was listening to it. He heard what they said. Amen. Grabbed the pen and started writing. Now, voice from heaven said, don't you write that, John? Amen. Say, well, what did they say? That prophet put it here. In this day we're living. What them thunder said, he put it right here. It had to come to him. Amen. And seven thunders have that message right now. Amen. Somebody believes that. Amen. Now, catch this part on page 385. He's talking here. We're in the sixth seal. Talking about them two prophets. And he said, remember, out of their mouth, out of the mouth of Christ come the sword. Devour their enemy. If any man shall hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Talking about Moses and Elijah to the Jews. And we know the fire in the 10th chapter or the 19th chapter of the coming of Christ preceded his sword from his mouth, which was the word. Is that right? The word. Oh, if you get this material for that seal tomorrow night, the word is the thing that God slays his enemy by. Amen. What are you worried about? Amen. Why is there any fear on a real believer? Amen. Let the bombs come. They can't harm you. A face mask won't stop it, but I know something will stop it. And it's called the Word of God. Amen. I don't want to take off so fast, but you just bear with me. Now on 386. The prophet's talking about them. They're speaking. <coughs> Whatever they want to. And there it happens. Them two messengers over there. And he said, Elijah, he knows how to do it. He's done it before. Moses knows how to do it. He's done it before. That's the reason they was kept here. And he hollered, Amen. He said, Oh, I could say something awful good right there. But I better hold that until tomorrow night. Wonder what it was. Then over on the next page, there it is. They opened that sixth seal. Who? Them two prophets. Well, what opened our seventh seal? That prophet. Amen. Now, watch them. If any man heard them, fire proceeded out of their mouth. The word, the Holy Ghost, come up on the apostles, you see. Fire proceeded out of their mouth. Now, notice, in Revelation 19. Oh, can't you hear? Can't you? How many believes the thunders are jarring the earth right now to a bride? Amen. Waking her up. 
Revelation 19, we see the same thing. And a great sword proceeded from his mouth. The word, Christ coming. And he slayed his enemy with it. Is that right? Now he's on his road. Watch him. Watch him now. He's already on his road. You believe that was William Murray Brown? Amen. Come ride me and you're on a white horse. Amen. Well, when he rode in on it, a lot of people didn't want it. But there's a little bride on earth. He got them. They jumped right. Listen, they jumped right on that white horse just like he had. Amen. And they're still riding it tonight. Amen. They don't get started. And after a few years, well, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. I know what he said about marriage and divorce, but I don't know about that. No, that's not the bride. Amen. That is a make-believer or an unbeliever. Amen. But God wants believers. Amen. You know it's been said. You know it's here, and you know you're going to ride that. Amen. Oh my! Three ninety-five. I was going to read that, but I looked down here on this page right before. Who are you, anyhow? Where did you come from? And where are you going? You cannot ask the doctor. You cannot ask anybody in the world. And there's no book you can read that could tell you who you are, where you come from, or where you're going. But this book right here. I don't know about you. This is the book of redemption. Now I know where I come from, and I know where I'm going to. I know who I am now. I'm part of that word. Now on the next page. These are not my ideas. This is not what I have been thinking. This is all together from me, so help me. The Holy Spirit knows it. You wait. If the Lord will in tomorrow night, I want to show you a mystery that's been going on all the time right here. In this meeting, and I doubt very much whether anybody ever seen it or not. What took place is being something that's been laid right here before you. And I've watched each night for this to see it rise for somebody to say, I see it. Now I'm going to ask you, do we know what that was? Now you keep praying for these stupid feet. Do we know what that was? The third bull. Well, if everybody believed it, why was they coming out after God took him home? Oh, we're going to have a tent service. Oh, we're going to have this. We're going to, he's going to set up a tent. That. They didn't believe it. Amen. The third bull, the prophet, I got a book laying right here. Look, up, look away to Jesus. And the prophet said, I believe it was in December of 63. Seals are already open. And he said, the third bull is here. It has identified itself. How many believe that was the word? Amen. What did he do? He identified himself to the bride. Amen. Please, people, please catch this. Now on 397. Father, today we stand here by your grace. It's not because that it's a special people, but it's because just like the days of the lion, the ox, the man, it's the eagle time. It's the anointing of the hour. Amen. Amen. Glory. Dude, if you see your last night, there's not another power goes out after that eagle. Amen. Not one. Amen. And we know the same pillar of fire, Lord, that led Moses down there in the wilderness. By the same pillar of fire, he wrote several books of the Bible. For he was the anointed word. Anointed with that word. The same pillar of fire coming up on Paul. On the road to Damascus, he wrote several books of the Bible called the Word of God. Glory. Now, Lord, that same pillar of fire by the evidence and the proof of the Word and scientific research, we see it here revealing the Word of the Lord. Amen. Now, preacher, that's why you can't read it in your Bible. You want to stop with Moses, stop with Paul, but you do not want to take what God put here in this day Amen. to a prophet just like he did by them man. Right. It had to be this time. Well, it wasn't Old Roberts, it wasn't Billy Graham, it wasn't Benny Hinn, it wasn't none of these fellows, but it was God's prophet. Amen. William Burr and Branham that he come to in this day and he gave that bride a Bible. Amen. 
Seven times was grabbed it. Amen. Now let me rephrase that. That hit me when I said that. It grabbed the seven thunders. Amen. He got a hold of them. Now, on page 399, coming up to what I was wanting to hit last night, and you see I'm not hitting that seven seal yet. Wonder what it was that that prophet said there's nothing written about it, not even a symbol or nothing. <clears throat> But I'm sure when we get there, he's going to reveal it. Amen. Did he do it? Amen. What was one of the first things he said? As sure as I'm standing in front of you, I had the revelation to reveal what it is. And one of the mysteries of that season, it was in seven thunders. Amen. 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 What was it he said over there in that seven seal? Now, if I get something from God and don't say nothing about it, don't try to explain it, then the devil can't get a hold of it Amen. and make a mess out of it. Amen. But if I get the revelation and just don't explain it, then he can't get a hold of it. Amen. He'll never get a hold of what you got. Because he wouldn't even know how to explain it. Amen. You know what people say? Well, if you think it's what happened in the cloud and you think y'all... Understand that angel that was in the cloud and all this stuff. Well, how in the world would they ever understand that? Lord. But I hope you stand and sit here tonight. Amen. And I hope you understand it. Amen. Freely. Amen. When it's revealed to us. Already. Now, it's got to be thus said the Lord. It's not only as I say it from knowing it, Myself, but the word of the Lord, it's thus saith the Lord. And here is the word, taking what he has given me and blending it together and showing. So you'll know it's thus saith the Lord. Amen. Now, do you believe the prophet made this statement? He said, there's no way in the world I would ever say it's thus saith the Lord unless it's him doing the talking. Amen. Amen. He said, if it's William Brown talking, I'll tell you. But when I say it's thus saith the Lord, you remember one time he even said something about, I'm God's voice to you. Amen. Then he stopped and he said, I, maybe I shouldn't have said that that way. I feel resentment. And all of a sudden, before he could even think, he said, I am God's voice to you. Amen. Then he stopped and said, I hope you caught that. Mm -hmm. That wasn't me that time. Amen. 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 Is that voice still here? Amen. 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 Listen close. Here is the word. The revelation that he gave me, which is contrary to what any of us have ever thought. <clears throat> contrary to what I thought, because I never went into it like that. But now we find it slides right together. And what is it? It's thus saith the Lord. It's exactly, it has been open to a place, a place opened up, holding there to this hour. And then the Lord comes, pushes it right in like that. Do you see it? There it is. It is the Lord. Oh, I love him. I love him with all my heart. Amen. I got to get this one. This is backing up part of what I said about the rapture last night. Remember the Bible said in the seventh watch. Is that right? Some fell asleep in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh. But in the seventh watch, there come forth a proclamation, a cry. The bridegroom cometh. Go out to meet him. The sleeping virgin said, say, I'd like to have some of that. Next page. The bride said, I just got enough for myself. Just got enough. If you want it, go pray it up. Amen. Don't you see the sleeping virgin now? Look at the Episcopalian, Presbyterian, Lutheran, and everything. Trying, and the trouble of it is, instead of trying to get the Holy Ghost, they're trying to speak in tongues. Amen. Watch any of them you want to. Stand up there, women preachers. Preachers with their hair, wife's hair cut off, makeup on. Short, tight dresses, dressed like the devil, 
And they can't hardly speak of this. My, 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 my. Then you watch one called Jen O. Jennings. Oh, he's just, oh, he's got a lot of good points. But he's not on the word. Amen. And he'll be just, oh, going and laughing at people for, he, he'll tell them. They want to say, oh, my, 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 stuff, my, my, speaking tongue. And all of a sudden he goes, hey! And when he does it, his little buddy sitting down here with a little mouthpiece. Hey! Hey! And then they get to hollering and carrying on. But somebody's got the word. Amen. And I hope somebody can shout with that word. Amen. Not just say, I believe it. Amen. And a lot of them speak in tongues and ashamed to come to a, this church. To be prayed for. Think about that. But they want to be prayed for by that prophet. Amen. Oh, I, I know he can pray the prayer and I'll be healed. But I don't want what he's preaching. What a bunch of devils. Amen. Now the next paragraph. I believe the Holy Ghost speaks in tongues. You know I believe that. But there is a counterfeit to it. Yes, sir. The fruits of the Spirit is what proves what it is. The fruit of the tree proves what kind of tree it is, not the bark. Amen. 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 Now, notice, when she come that last hour, and there when they come in, they went in and said, well, I believe I've got it now. I believe I've got it. Yeah, we're getting it now. Yeah, we're speaking in tongues. It's all over the world. The prophet said, I better not say this because it might cause confusion. But when I said the other day, the rapture, there it is. How it would come. Now, if you say you'll take it, all right. Congregation says amen. So watch. Watch, that's up to you if you're going to take it or not. Well, most of them didn't take it. Because you hear a lot of them still talking about it. We're going to leave here before long. In the rapture. Flying off up through the sky somewhere. You know what to say they're going? Heaven. And they say to believe the prophet. And I can quote it or I can bring the book and read it. You'll find out one day when you go to heaven you don't fly off up in the sky somewhere. Amen. It's right here on earth. Amen. Somebody on earth is not going to miss a word he said. Amen. And whatever he said, they're going to speak it. Amen. When the sleeping virgin see that thought she was prayed up to come back, the bride was done gone. It went and they didn't know it. And she didn't know it, like the thief in the night. Then they began to hang on to the doors. What happened? What taken place? They were cast into the tribulation period. And the Bible said there were, we'll be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Is that right? Yeah. When's it going to be, brother, sister? I don't know. <coughs> but said, it may just be me here. You see, this is what is my thought. I believe it's so close. I, each day, I just want to try to walk as softly as I can. And now when you know something happened today, I seen something come up, I couldn't get my breath anymore. There he was standing there, that little light standing right there. And here it was. I know it's the truth. Amen. Something come up in front of it. What's it talking about here? The rapture. About it being over with. Now listen. I thought, oh God, I can't say that. I can't. Just walked out of the room. Went out. Walked up and down. Brother, I thought, my, what can I do? I have to go fishing or something. But you see, I can't tell you. How important was that to that bride, to that prophet? When that come up in front of him and I seen it, I said, I can't say that. I don't want to say it. I don't want to. Somebody asked him one time, I said, when that seven seal opens, will it be over? He said, you don't want to think that. Don't try to not get that in head. Just keep on living each day. Amen. But can I tell you, it was over. Amen. They seven thunders uttered their voices, but not until time run out. Amen. That's why he said the seven thunders in heaven. Amen. And that ought to start jarring this place before Amen. too many more nights. Amen. 
Amen. The seven thunders in heaven. In the Word. In the Word. In the Word. The only thing is stuck to the Word. The seven thunders. Amen. Not a hundred of them. Amen. Not even eight of them. Amen. Only seven of God's perfect number. Amen. The prophet said that. Sounded like it was spelling out something. Wonder what it was. I want to go ahead. I want. Oh my! My time has come up so fast. I want to get over here just a minute. Hit a couple things here in the seventh seal and fire you up and hope that you get it in your mind, get it on your mind. I can't wait till next weekend. I can't wait to get in there. Come getting closer to God every time I go through the door now. I feel Him coming on me, coming in me, coming around me. I just feel His presence. I have all day today. Just try to keep Him on my mind. Every little thing around you. Just try to blot it out sometimes. When you thinking about Him, Amen. about His Word, what He's done for us. Amen. I don't think we've got it in our head how privileged we are. Amen. There's death riding all over the world now. There's people dying with babies in their arms right now Amen. as we stand here worshiping God. Amen. But we sit and complain Amen. constantly. Right. And as I said, it's got to come to that perfect love and it's not here yet. Amen. Amen. This group right here, as close as they are to be, well, y'all can't even hardly love one another like yours. Amen. It's not that. You'd rather criticize one another Amen. than to love one another. Amen. All we worry about is self. Why'd you do this? Well, look what they did. Don't worry about what they do. Line number one out. Amen. That's the problem with us now. Well, they do this. What's wrong with it? Why? They do this like that. God have mercy on us. Can't even get together without criticizing somebody. That's not love. And I'm not talking about out in the world. I'm talking about people right among you. But without that perfect love, you're not going to get a perfect body. I don't care who we are. I want to start something right here. I'm just following him right now for a minute. Because there's just a few things I want to hit right off the top. All the hosts of heaven. I'm at the bottom of page 502. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to touch it. The holy seraphim touched that. Angels quit singing. Flying in the presence of God. Singing holy, holy, holy. They just shut up. No angels singing. No praises. No altar service. I wonder what he meant by that. In heaven. No altar services. I wonder why there wasn't no altar service. Why would you need them? If you're his, you already made it. Are you listening close? There was silence. Hush. Deadly silence in heaven for half an hour. All the host of heaven were silent for this half hour. What is heaven consisted of? The Word. Amen. When the seven seal mystery in the book of redemption was broke open. Think of it, but it's broke. The Lamb breaks it. You know what? They were all about it. I believe they didn't know, and there it was. They just stopped. Can't you see that now? I never thought of it. Why? It was never written. Amen. Lord. Only God knows. Jesus said, I don't even know. God keeps this to himself. Amen. He don't speak it through nobody until it's time. Amen. And the prophet's talking about that seven seal. And what them thunders said. Said, so don't write that, John. But I'll reveal it in that day. Amen. So well, then why ain't he done it? That prophet was the word walking in flesh right here on earth in our day. Amen. 
And that was God that opened these seals. That was God that told you what them thunder said. And that same God told Johnson, don't write it, don't write it, don't. They'll make a mess out of it. Don't even put it in the Bible. But I'll come in that day. Man, I'll really turn them upside down. I'll have preachers say, it ain't in my Bible about this and that and the other. But there'll be some on earth saying, right here it is. But it'll be seven thunders. And that letter again this week. And we know they're playing the fifth seal, I believe it is. But if you read the letter, there it was again, repeating what the prophet said, what I've been reading right here. They know, oh, they're just riding right along. This is Joseph's letter that he put out. They're just riding right along. They know these thunders are going to issue it pretty soon. Amen. They're going to, what? Make it come to pass pretty soon. Amen. How many reads them letters he puts out? Amen. That was the words he put there. Amen. Just waiting on them. Just riding right along. We are just riding right along this thing. We know the thunder will issue for us pretty soon. Amen. What is it? None of us know. Nobody. But I'm going to give you my revelation. Now I'm going to hit just a paragraph here. As certain as I stand in the platform tonight, I had the revelation that revealed it. Love this part. It's in a threefold mystery. That I will speak to you by God's help of a fold letter. Said, so let's go over that. Said, so what I want to tell you, what it is, what's happened. Those seven thunder that he heard thunder was forbidden to write. That's what the mystery is. Laying behind those seven consecutive thunders rolling out. Amen. Did you get what I just read? Let me touch that spot again. It's in a threefold manner. Let me speak to you by God's help of the fold letter. Well, if there's three folds, why didn't he tell us all three of them? It's the coming of the Lord. And he's part of it. Joseph is part of it. But the seven thunder, something run all over me. Seven thunder hold that mystery. The world knows nothing about it. What will they holler? Before long, they see what's going on out here now. And watch when all of these bombs they're talking about start flying across the earth. Why is this happening? I thought it was supposed to be a rapture. Somebody will be screaming. It already happened. You're in on this. It's already happened. And you know nothing about it. But my mind was correct in that pyramid. They found a special angel right there on the top of it. <laughs> Did you get that? I've never said that like that before. But we're not going to make it, bride. We've already made it. We're not going up. We're coming back. We're not going to leave. We're coming back on the sea. So I thought they're supposed to go up there and have a supper and we're going to sit down and eat macaroni and cheese and beans. You go eat all that you want to. But I had a table set in front of me here. I've been eating it. And as I said last night, you can't take everything, just one little spoonful. So I don't want that. Amen. Man or woman. Amen. You can't do that. You got to put that spoon that you hate so bad, throw it in your mouth and eat it and you become what you eat. That's what puts the woman in her place. The man in his place. Did you catch it again? It's in a threefold manner. But I'm going to tell you one fold there. It is them thunders. Amen. Well, let me say it this way. It is the coming of the Lord. Amen. And it's in a threefold manner. Amen. And that's why. Let me turn over here and just touch this. They're building you up just a little bit right here. <coughs> Bear with me. One thing just hit my mind. I'm going to have to get it. My time's done gone again tonight. 
and I'm looking at all that. I want to be. I just want to read it all. One of the mysteries of that seal. On the opening of this seal, it's in a threefold mystery. This one I will speak and have spoken. It is the mystery of the seven thunders. The seven thunders in heaven. Amen. They only reveal it to the bride, and only the bride is going to heaven. And if you're that bride, you'll act like his bride. You'll have love for one another, even the ones that despitefully use you. You'll love them. You won't sit around and just see what you could find to say something bad about it. Amen. The love will be there. And if it ain't there, Amen. I'm going to say something right there. If that love ain't there, it's a dangerous time right there. Amen. Amen. We sit here and listen to it go right back out the door doing the same old things we've been doing. Treat people the same way we've always treated them. And as I said so many times, because we get upset with God's servant, disrespect them. But remember, Revelation 10, 1 through 7, there's an angel here. You would respect him of everything, no matter what he done or said. You know you would. There's one down here in verse 7. You'd respect him, unbelievable. But there's seven under there that got the same thing that angel has got. More to respect that for that man. Yeah. Yeah. Then we holler we believe the word. Right. You couldn't believe that word and even come again one to God's church. Right. Try to straighten them out. To preach and what not to preach. Amen. You should say this and hit this. Sir. I don't care who it hit. If it's God's word, let me speak it. Amen. If it hits you, live with it. Or line up one or the other. What an hour we're living in. But people are bold. They're pulling the shoulders back. They stay right in the face of a servant of God and let them have it. Glory. And nine times out of ten, it's women. And so many times, the man just goes along and lets him get by. When that foot ought to come down. That's my leader. Don't you ever disrespect him. Right or wrong, he's right in it. That should be our attitude, but we don't have that attitude. Where's the love at? Where's the respect at? I'm going to stop right there. And I felt just like the prophet did right there. When he made the statement, he said, oh, I shouldn't have said it that way. And he turned right around and spoke it again. Amen. Glory. So many times I say, Lord, why did I have to hit that? And some of you are paying right now. Some of you are sitting there now. He's doing it because of me. He's doing it because of me. If it's hitting you, people, I'm sorry. Amen. But that word that we have here is going to take a bride. Change her in a little bit. A change to come over us one night. How close are we? Go home tonight and listen to your news. Watch mothers with little babies in their arms. Trying to shield them from a rocket coming at them. <clears throat> or some man walking up. Bunch of these big heavy tanks. I didn't see what happened in the end. I, I'm not sure. But there's a whole line up coming. Some of the men walking right out in front of them trying to stop it. How many saw that? Yeah. They'd stop some of the other men try to pull them back. And them tanks, why? A building can't stop them. Amen. But he jumped out in front of them several times. And the last thing they showed was they just gunned that tank. I don't know if he run over and just why well, we had to mash his guts out. And you sitting here worshiping God. Amen. And sitting here thinking about, oh, so so done this to me. God have mercy on a bunch of people Amen. that can't get but one thing on their mind, and that's God. Amen. Realize you got a line up. Forget about everybody around you. Quit using that for a clutch to lean on. Right. 
They done this. What's wrong with me doing this? You do what's right. It don't matter what everybody else does. Because one of the main things you're doing wrong is pointing. They done wrong, so I can too. Amen. They did this to me. This is what I'll do for them. Love them that even despitefully use you. Amen. But that love's not there. God have mercy. Do you love him, people? Amen. Glory. I believe we're going to have service next weekend. I'm here. I want to read something right there. And it's all over me. And I'm just going to tell you, you can be ready. I'm going to draw these walls next weekend. Amen. What with? There's seven thunders on earth right now. And I believe with all my heart, they're throwing their voices out there. Amen. Do you love him? God bless you. Come next week. Looking for him. He'll be here. Everlasting.